A family going to the place where a loved one died discovered another body. It happened at a homeless camp located between a number of buildings close to downtown Asheville. Now police have two investigations of two men found dead at the same spot off Banks Avenue just four days apart. It's unbelievable. News 13 Cheryl Barber joins us from there tonight. Cheryl, do police suspect foul play in either death? So far, they're saying there's no evidence of a crime here. They said both men had trouble with alcohol, and this is where they came to drink it. Here I come to the spot to see where my nephew died at, and I find another man in the same exact spot dead. They came to this place asking questions about their nephew's death last Friday. I mean, that's just weird how that happened. And what they found was overwhelming. He said, there's somebody laying in there. And I said, oh, my God, they are. And he said, that's the same place that your nephew was laying. And we walked down there and looked, and he was dead. Exactly the same place, same way, laying, everything. And, I mean, that just freaked us out. Kathy Rangel and her sister Deborah Peck came to this parking lot on Banks Avenue to see where their nephew, 23-year-old Jeffrey Reynolds, died. They say he was homeless, battling alcoholism, wandering from place to place. William Burris led the two sisters here. Burris found Reynolds' body Friday night after both homeless men had been drinking here. Me and Derek comes down here to check on him. We went to the liquor store, got a fifth of vodka, and come over here. He was in the same spot where this man sitting at. Dead. Burris was showing Wrangle and Peck the location this morning when all three made the gruesome discovery of a 50-year-old man's body lying in this chair. I checked for a pulse, but he was cold. He had a drinking problem, but he, he didn't have any enemies, you know. He was a good person and helped you any way he could, and I'm not sure if he knew this man. Police say both died alone, and they can find no sign that they were attacked. I see an area behind this building that is littered uh, with dozens of empty liquor bottles and trash of every description. No foul play. Uh, the connection that I see at this point is alcohol. Now, police say the body of Jeffrey Reynolds was sent to the state medical examiner for an autopsy. They say that they have identified the second man's body found here, but they are withholding his name while they notify the family. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.